the science of headshots. It's not always easy to just aim it for the head. Specifically in this video I'm going to go over the three types of headshots. Headshots at long ranges and the transition from normal aim to hardcore. And some tips that should help. Start off with the real differences between normal and hardcore. Now of course normal is auto aim and hardcore isn't auto aim. But let's look at it from a scientific and mathematical viewpoint. In reality, we deal with three dimensions. There's the Y, the X, and the Z. Even though modern video games appear to be 3D, our minds still register in two dimensions. In auto aim, normal aim, you actually only deal with one axis, the Y axis. Meaning that when you aim, you only have to look up or down. Like so. When you move into hardcore, you receive the additional X axis to have to deal with. Instead of a lock on, you must look from side to side on your own. The easiest way to compensate for the additional X axis control is to bring the head down to zero on the Y axis. Once you have the head on your x-axis, y is zero, swing the reticule to bring the head to zero on the x-axis. Once the head is located at the point of origin, the reticule, blow their head off. You think it's bullshit? Well, let's see some examples. Here we have a normal Chuparosa gang match. That's me with the Springfield. And oh look! Look, there's blood and running out. See, I don't quite have my reticule on the X, and then, oh, there you go. Now let's take a look at this all over again so we can break it down. Now if you pay close attention, you'll see how unsuccessful I am at shooting him in the head until I actually get his head at zero on the Y axis, right here. Okie dokie, let's go over this headshot one more time, just so I can get one more point across. Notice how I twitch the reticule from side to side. That's actually a must in hardcore, because you can't just slowly aim at them, they'll just move right out from behind it. Now two more little examples of this tactic. I got one more in Chuparosa, the Springfield. My reticule is directly at zero on the y-axis, swing it to the side, bop, right in the head. And one more uh, example in armadillo, y-zero, headshot. Those three headshots you just witnessed are examples of the first type of the three headshots. Those were confrontational headshots head to head. In addition, there's perp headshots or perpendicular. Basically, you just let them walk right into the reticule and then here's another example with grinning comet sucking head shot. Then there's the third type, the stagnant headshot where the character's not moving, so you can line up the shot really slow. Now to the last topic of this video, which is headshots at a distance. Something that's probably really debatable, but I'm gonna break it down for you. Now did you see how many volcanic shots it took to the head at a distance? At distances, you actually have to whittle down their health before a headshot will register. One headshot, two headshot. One headshot, two headshot. Cheating will not give you skills like this, especially not you, Grinning Comet.